Hi there, what's up YouTube? This is the, the Knife Review, or the Knife Specs Review, sorry. Got my name there for a sec, that's not good. Um, yeah, I'm just here to do another great review on a product that I picked up today. Um, I know that what you're looking at right this second is not a knife, um, but it is a Pelican 1050 Micro Case. This case is supposedly um, waterproof slash watertight, um, crush proof, and uh, shock resistant. So, now, we're going to see if that's actually true. So, before we start off, I'm just going to give you a little introduction into this case. Um, so, first of all, what we got here is the latch, which keeps everything waterproof, of course. Alright, which you would just open up to get inside. And here's a pressure release valve, so when you bring it deep, it'll release pressure, just so that it does not crush at um, low depths. Um, that, but still keeping everything water, water, um, I don't know what you call it, water, waterless, let's just say that. Alright, um, hinges, basically, it did come with a carabiner, but I took it off because it's just rattly and annoying. Um, and two loops, just to hook onto your belt or whatever. Um, yeah, so, now we're just going to put it through some tests. The first test is going to be to see if it's actually waterproof, or watertight. Um, inside, I just put some paper items, just Canadian Tire Money receipts and whatever. Um, yeah, so, water, obviously water sensitive, sensitive items. Not that these items actually are worth anything, but whatever. Um, yeah, so, let's just close it up, and, uh, I'll just dunk it in my wa little water bucket I have here. I would have done it in my sink, but I don't really want to worry about that right now. Okay. Okay, so here we have it half full, but of course, you know, water placement is going to, as soon as I dunk it in, the water level is going to rise and hopefully cover the entire um, device. Or, not device, but entire kind of thing. So, I dunk it, and it's submerged. So let's do a count off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's pop up there. Alright. So now we do it upside down just for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright. I don't know what this is going to look like, but set it off here for a sec, put the lid back on this. Okay. Alright, so here we have the case. Still wet. I just put the lid out on the water bucket so nothing happens. So we open it up. Oh. Done. Alright, alright, sorry about that. Just dropped my phone. Okay, so inside we have a receipt and Canadian car money. Still completely dry. The only water is on the outside ring here of where the water was stopped by the awesome seal. So, now with that, now I'm going to do something totally awesome. I am going to put my iPhone 4, which I am recording with, inside of this box. Now, I put my full chest into Pelican to keep my device completely dry. So, I'm just going to stick it right in there, right in this thing with the flash on, just so that, okay, alright, actually I'm just going to open this so that you guys can see I'm actually dunking it in, okay, so, um, uh, let's just, okay, it's going face up inside of the parking case. Okay, the lid is closing. Gonna snap. Okay, dunking in the water.
ice is back up to the surface. Welcome back to Earth. So, let's see, way back on there. Yeah, so I just dunked it, did a bit of an alligator roll and stuff too. So, close. So, there you have it. The Pelican 1050 is completely watertight, just as it said. Now, we are going to take this case, put it there for a second. Set these things aside. Just the water bucket there. Alright, actually, I'm just going to put a pillow against this wall. because so It'll be extremely loud if they hit the wall. and Somebody might get really mad at that. So, <laughs> so yeah, okay, I'm throwing this. At the ground, going, I don't know how fast it'll go, but it's going to hit the ground. Guarantee that. So, this is the throw slash durability test. So, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, it doesn't actually seem like it did anything. Alright, now we do a drop test from almost roof height in five, four, three, two, one. Didn't do anything. All right, now we're gonna test the damage as if there were something inside it. All right, I'm just gonna turn the flash off, it's getting annoying. Okay, now that is my Samsung camera. Notice how the lens is actually stuck open, but actually, don't, actually, sorry, it's Sony, but don't worry about that, that's, that's damage that I did, because I dropped it without no case, but anyways, so, let's just close it in there, and we're doing the same distance, with this, throwing it directly at the wall, so, there you have it, now we see it. Check the contents. Still, absolutely nothing. Perfect. All right. Now, drop test. In five, four, three, two, one. And then we test it. And now we see how we did on that. Camera's perfectly intact. Nothing actually even opened, so yeah, it's because these soft things inside just prevent the shock inside of the actual um inside the actual case. So now we're gonna do something actually pretty cool because you know if you're like boating or something or jet skiing or whatnot and you have this case and you're going like eighty or whatever across the water and you drop you drop your case in the water, that's going to be some pretty big force, which could break the seal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a throw and drop test into my water bucket. So, with the camera inside it. Yeah, it's going to get a bit wet, so I'm going to just put a towel down. I could find a towel. Towel, 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 towel. 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 Actually, you know what? I'm just going to use a sweater that my grandmother gave me, which I do not want to wear ever in my entire life because it's pretty gross. See? It's a gross sweater. Okay. Now, let's lay it down. Okay, bring the water bucket out. Okay, here's the lid. Okay, and the camera is inside here. All right. Um, actually, kind of tempted to turn this around. Okay, give me one sec. Mm -hmm. Turning around, turning around, turning around. All right. Okay, 
turned around. There we go. Done. Phone still, or camera still in there. I can even just prove it. Camera right there. All right. Now I've actually never done this kind of test before, so I don't know how my camera's gonna last after this. But this should be a telltale test here. I might miss because I'm pretty bad aim, but let's try it. Oh, missed. I hit the side. But it's okay because we've... Let's see if I can get it again. <laughs> it actually splashed quite a bit, but whatever. Let's try again. Uh... Oh, right in there. Now, it's... it's floating only on one side, so I have a feeling maybe the seal broke. See, look. It's floating off balance. Let's just check the inside. No, actually, the seal is still good. Camera is dry. Perfect. Okay, now we do the drop test into water. And actually, I'm going to try to get a direct shot just again with this same method here. Because it kind of hit the side and then went in, so it might not have been full force. There. Oh, it's soaked. All right, okay. Oh, it's floating off balance because the phone is in one corner. That's why. Or, I mean, not the phone, the camera. Here it is. It's only one drop because my fingers, again, I hate. should actually just dry my fingers before I open the box, but whatever. Okay, see? Here we go. Now, drop test into water. Um, one sec, I'm going to put something new down, just over top of the original towel tank kind of thing. There. Okay. All right, camera's in there. Now we drop test. Five, four, three. Don't mind that cal calendar. Five, four, three, two, one. Holy crap. Okay. That was fairly wet. <laughs> Flooded it. Alright. Let's see. Still watertight. Imagine that, eh? Look. Still watertight. Now we do... Let's close it back up. As you can see, I pretty much drained all the water in that. Okay. Alright, but now I'm going to do something very cool. I'm going to actually put my filming iPhone inside of this case, just, just as I did in the water test. Just to kind of see the strengths of this case. Um... Okay, so I'm going to film it. Oh, i got to put the flash on. on. Okay, so the first is going to be the throw test, and then it's going to be the drop test into water. Okay, actually the throw test into water, and then the drop test into water. Okay, but I'll open in between. I'll open the thing in between. Okay, see? See my hand? Hi. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's in there, nice and safe. Throw test into water. Three, two, one.